which is the largest of the following numbers? Okay, and we're given um, we're given five different numbers to choose from. Um, I don't know why, but I am not very good at solving these style of problems. Like which, uh, uh, given a list of numbers, choose the one that's largest or the one that's smallest. Um, I really don't know why I'm so poor at them. Um, so what is my first instinct here? I think what I will do for lack of better idea is to kind of just work left to right. I'm going to compare options A and B and, and keep whichever one is largest and then compare options B and C and so on. Okay, so let's talk about root 7 over 2 and 5 over 4. So the natural thing to do here is going to be square both sides. So I have 7 over 4 and 25 over 16. So that's on the left, that's the same as, um, if I multiply that by 4 over 4. Yeah, so like this, the ordering between these numbers is the same as the ordering between their squares. So if I square them, uh, the same sort of comparison holds. And the left-hand side is 28 over 16, which is clearly greater than 25 over 16. So I've got this. So I can get rid of 5 over 4. I don't need that anymore. Okay, so let's try root 7 over 2 versus the square root of 10 factorial divided by 3 times 6 factorial. Um... So again, I'm considering squaring both of these. So I have 7 over 4. And I have 10 factorial over 9 times 6 factorial squared. <coughs> and now I guess I will try and simplify this as much as I can. So this is 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 divided by 9 times 6 factorial. Ten times eight times seven divided by six times five times four times three times two. Okay, so the five and the two cancel the ten. Um, the four cancels the eight, replaces it with a two. Let me write that. Um, I mean, let me just, I don't want to screw anything up here. So 8 times 7 divided by 6 times 4 times 3. Let's multiply by 2 over 2. And now I can go like that. So I have 7 over 4 and 7 times 2 over 6 times 3. <coughs> Um, okay, so this is 7 over 4 times 7 times 2 over 2 times 3 times 3. So the left I'll multiply by 9 over 9. And the right I'll multiply by 2 over 2. So that gives me only 28 over 36. Is this number really less than, okay, right. So, I mean, I, we obviously have that again. Did I, I feel like I've screwed something up. These numbers are vastly more different than what I thought they would be. Uh, I, I don't see a mistake, so I guess 
root 7 over 2 is still the candidate here. And my other candidate here is log base 2 of 30 divided by log base 3 of 85. Um, so I think I'll just, I'll try and simplify that number first. Mm. Uh, I'll, I'll come back to that one. I don't know, like... And again, uh, what... Um, Should I just square and see what happens? Well, 63 minus 26, 36. So this has got to be, it's got to be like this, right? Did I screw this up? I think I did, but okay, let's see what happens. Okay, 63 minus 28, it's 43 minus 8, 35, 
guess we can, I mean, we could just square it again, right? 35 squared greater than 64 times 6. So 384 on the right. 35 squared is, I mean, that's bigger than 900. That's 900 plus something. So, yeah, again, this is correct. The root 7 over 2 is greater than 1 plus root 6 over 3. So we just need to figure out this last number. Log base 2 of 30 divided by log base 3 of 85 compared to root 7 over 2. I mean, this is possibly more easily compared to 5 over 4, which is one of the other options that we already know is smaller than root 7 over 2. So maybe we can show that this is less than 5 over 4. So if I have 5 log base 3 of 85, suppose that's greater than 4 log base 2 of 30. I don't know. Um, I mean, I would love to see sometimes the process that people come up with to make these questions. It seems like write down a bunch of numbers and plug them into as many convoluted operations as possible and pray that, you know, see if the applicant can reverse engineer all the machinery you've gone through. It's either that or, you know, have the half dozen techniques for manipulating these things memorized. Which of these options is it easiest to compare this one to? My thinking is 5 over 4 because, you know, this is a bit less than 2. This is a bit more than 2. So that's like 5. This is bigger than 1, less than 2. This is bigger than 2, less than 3. Like what if what if an applicant writing this test just chooses pairs of numbers to compare in a way that makes the operations a heck of a lot more difficult to actually follow through with? I I really don't like these types of questions. Um,
Yeah, I, I I don't know. The answer is either A or D. Clearly, because I've I've said that I've I've shown that root seven over two is greater than three of the other options. Uh, I just don't know how to compare it quickly to to this. Like, should I? Maybe I should mess around with the the root seven. Okay, so if I have that my last expression is bigger than this, then that one will be the right answer. Log base 2 of 30 divided by log base 3 of 85 compared to 2 to the half. Okay, let's work with, let's, okay. Um, oh my God, I, okay, hold on. Log 30 divided by log base three of 85. I make the numerator bigger and the denominator smaller. There, okay, great, done. Fantastic. Uh, so the answer is root seven over two. I don't know, like if you just don't, if you don't see what manipulations to go through, then it, uh, once you see it, it's obvious, obviously, like, of course, once you see it, it's obvious, but, you know, uh, the first thing I'm doing when I see logarithms I'm, is, is I'm factoring the thing in the logarithm because rules of logarithms, right? Okay. Great question. Had zero fun doing it. Thanks for watching.